everyone and welcome back to the channel my name is Deborah aka the sunset girl creates and today we're going to continue working on the spring bridge um it's kind of gloomy outside and just kind of starting to come up and the sun come up so um I don't have the curtains open today I will be using my ring light um I have my pen that I'm using from Diamond Art Club. My ring light is a knot light and it was bought from um, Amazon. Um, and then I'm using my tray for my 3D designs. It's got a stopper on it. I'm also using my pad that um, is the bead mat that I got on Amazon. Um, we'll also be reading our article today from Diamond Art Club. What are some hobbies to do at home? Diamond Art and for others. So that's March 6, 2021, okay? Um, and we're just going to read this blog and maybe talk about a few things because this one is kind of a, a, a shorter shorter blog. Um, so I kind of wanted to maybe uh, see where everybody's at and what's going on, kind of let you know what I'm doing, where I'm at. Um, my dog just climbed up into the window, so we'll keep an eye out to make sure that we do not get um, any blurs on our camera from it. Uh, we'll also, we can also get uh, shots from outside where the sun comes down. So we'll kind of, the reflections, we'll kind of um, see where we're at and watch that. Um, so she likes to lay behind me. That's my black dog. Um, she's my best friend in the world, you know. She never leaves my side. She's always got to be either at my feet or above my head. Um, or underneath me in the sense of being under the bed at night. Um, and most of the time she sleeps on the top till dad comes to bed. So it really just depends on um, what time of night it is. The little one, she's running around somewhere. Um, I don't even see her right now. She's probably in with Dad or in the hallway with Dad. I'm sure that's probably where she is. That's what she sounds like. She's it. Um, I should move her a bed because she spends most of the morning in the hallway. She moved one of her beds in there for her. Um, she's cutie pie though, man. I'm telling you, that one. We got her from uh, Hurricane Irma, and she came in from Puerto Rico from as a stray that was found on the side of the road. Uh, she was just a puppy. Um, they also had her brother and sister. This is the one that I fell in love with. She was very skittish, very standoffish for a long time. We had to work with her, and it was a slow work with her. What really helped was having um, a friend of ours' daughter over, and she loved Trixie, and her and Trixie became best buds. And Trixie is just blossomed since she became um that outstanding puppy dog but she does she's not a lap dog she likes to lay on her couch um yeah she has her own and it's not one of the kit one of the dog size couches now she's got her own big couch we sit on it when we want but mostly it's her couch um, because we usually only sleep on it and lay on it in the evening or at night. So all day long that couch is hers, right? Um, so that's where she likes to stay. The dogs are probably, they're the ones that keep me going most of the days. Um, my husband does too. I'm not saying my husband doesn't, but, um, my dogs are my kids, uh, and they're very special in the things that they do. And my little one, she likes to run up here when Dad's not here and jump on the padded table that sits between us. It's also got a uh, 
pocket underneath it so I can hide some things in it, right? So I keep things that we need here in the living room in it. So simple things like when I keep cough drops in there, so if I need a cough drop, keep extra cords in there, um, and things like that. But she likes to sit on that and come to get her scratchy time. She loves her scratchy time. And that was my trick with her to get her to um, start noticing me and coming to me. Um, she bonded to our friend's daughter, and I'm not, her name doesn't need to be said. Um, I can say Peanut, and that's fine. So, um, she was the little Peanut around the house at the time, and uh, she really got Tixie to come out of her shell, and then she started really hanging with Dad, not wanting much to do with Mom, barely coming to Mom barely seeing mom and then she realized that mom had nails okay so I put pink glittery ones on for this week um and she fell in love with my nails and so that's how I got her because she likes scratchy time um and now she comes up for just lovey time it's not necessarily just scratchy time she likes to come up and give kisses, and and she'll come for me just scratching on the couch. She'll come get into position, and her head's turning, looking where it's coming from. Um, she thinks, Mommy, she's like, where is it coming from, Mom? Where is it at, Mom? I hear the scratchy down there. So that's, she'll come up here when I do that a lot of times uh, to get scratchies. And I don't usually have to call her name. I can call her name, though, and she'll come as well. She's a really good girl now. Uh, she is one of the cutie pies of my life. And they are the two that keep us going every day. We get up every day. They go outside. They have to be fed. They have to give, be given treats. And trust me, they know when it's treat time. They'd much rather have treat time than food time. Okay, their food will sit in their bowl until they're hungry. But treats get gobbled down immediately and I don't like to say that word much because it gets things I it's about the only one word I can say that doesn't get it get the dogs so that they go crazy trying to get to me and getting me up and staring at me because I didn't give it to them um, <clears throat> and so that's about the dogs I've been watching um, I've been watching once Upon a Time, as I was saying, I'm now on season six of Once Upon a Time. It is really good. Um, I'm really sad that there's only seven seasons, so it's coming to an end. I'm at the beginning of six, so I only have a little over... Um, uh, a little over a season and a half left. So um, that's kind of why I'm excited. Um, but I can find... I've got other new shows. Not shows. Well, I have Once Upon a Time in Wonderland. Okay, so that's next. And I think that's three or four seasons. I hope. Um, I haven't looked at it recently. But I think, I, if I recall, it was three or four seasons. I have all kinds of A's that I missed, so I'm picking up the A's as I go. Um, I am just going in order, so 1 through 39, and I'm just going through and putting them in in order. I am on C, which is number 10. I do have some A's here from number 9 that I found, and I want to fill real quick. Um, that way I don't have to worry about coming back at the end and getting it because I forgot them. I have to do the same for some fours over there. I haven't pulled the fours out yet, but I will. And I'll do the same thing. Um, 
when I see them again and I get back down into the area that they're at, I will pick it up. Like if I'm doing the R's or the N's or something, right? Those are probably the two that will come up next. Probably N will be next. A color around it. So when we get there, we'll do that. Um, and so uh, shows. Um, I don't really have uh, any other shows. We are watching... Um, what is that crime show? Dangerous Catch? That's a really good show. We're on season eight of that one, and there's 17 seasons, so we've got quite a while to go on that one. Um, that one's really good. Um, my One of my favorite um, captains passed away. Um, he just had some heart problems and had a stroke and passed away and he pretty much uh, was captain all the way to the end he left two kids behind um that are are old enough they run the boat but right now they're working on other ships trying to raise money so that they can afford to take the ship out um and so that's what they're currently working on trying to build capital um one of the sons is a drug addict supposedly not using drugs but you know I sure it sure looks like he's 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 using something he's got something with him that he's using whether it be pills or something but you can tell that he's still getting high even though he says he's not and he's gonna get busted one of these days um and I hope soon enough because I don't want to see his life go down the drain, right? Because he chooses to do drugs. And he admitted to being an addict to his father before he passed away. So his father's wish, last dying wish that his son got clean. You know, and so that's what he did. He went and got clean, but I think he's fallen off the wagon. Um, and I feel really sorry for him. And I hope that he, I would like to see him... Uh, get better throughout the seasons as we go. His other son is really dedicated to wanting to to learn and become a captain. He's right there. He's been he listened to his dad. He takes a lot of watches and when the captains are sleeping, um, he does knows how to do almost. He's learning how to do the rest of the deck parts that he hadn't learned. He's been doing it for seven years, but there's a few things he still needed to learn. Um, and he's still got to go to captain school. Um, but he's learning. He's working. He's got, he's got an apprenticeship, basically, um, on one of the ships. One of the, one of the, one of the uh, characters, or not characters, because he's really a captain. Sig, who's a captain... Um, and I don't want to talk too much about it, but Sig is a captain. And he's kind of taking him under his wing, and he's really trying to help him out because Phil was his, his one of his very good friends, and they'd been fishing for years together. And they have brought their children into it, and he passed away. He handed every everything went to his sons, but they weren't completely ready to completely take over as captain, right? They didn't have their captain's license and they hadn't learned all that he wanted to learn before they became captain. So he's kind of working as kind of an apprentice, kind of out there working on the deck. They're really pulling him in, um, having him work on various things, really out there building his skills, right? And he wants to build his skills he wants to take over as captain. He wants to be a captain. Um, his brother, I don't see as one that really wants to be a captain. He was kind of only doing that as a part of his dad. And he thinks he does it now because um, he thinks he can get away with it because he owns the boat now. And I'd hate to see his brother lose everything because his brother decides to be high one day. And get on the ship and something happen, you know? That's the scariest thing. It's a drug-free trade for a reason. You can't be dr doing drugs. You can't be doing alcohol. There are so many dangerous jobs on there. 
you have to be full-witted to be able to handle it, right? You can't have any alcohol in your body or any drugs in your body because then you can't react fast enough when you need to. Because if a rope gets tied around your leg, you have seconds to get it off before you're ripped off and pulled into the Bering Sea. So you need to have those quick reflexes, right? So, or when it, if, if, if the crane operator happens and one of the, something happens on one of the pots as the crane operator's working, he didn't do it on purpose, but uh-oh, one of the ties fell, and guess what? When those ties fell, that was all there was, right? It came down. Now, are you going to be under that 800-pound pot, or are you going to be ready to go? So that's why I'm really hoping that um, his brother gets some help. Uh, so, yeah, that's the other show we're watching. Um, that I watch with my husband, and once upon a time, I watch in the mornings when he's sleeping. And um, I love Disney anyways. And this Once Upon a Time has brought in all the various Disney princesses and Disney characters. Um, you have the evil evil queen on there. You have Snow White and Prince Charming. You have Cinderella. You have Captain Hook. You have Snow White's daughter. Um, you have Rumpelstiltskin. You have Tinkerbell. Uh, you have the Lost Boys. I mean, if there's even The Handmaid's Tale, right? Listen to that. The Handmaid's Tale. Uh-huh. They were talking about that today. So, there's a lot of characters and different things going on. And it's really interesting because you watch them deal with their magic and... You know, Eva Queen has magic, and Rumpelstiltskin has magic, and Rumpelstiltskin is a dark one now, and he's evil, and you don't want to come around the evil dark, the evil uh, guy, you know, those kind of things, and, you know, so it's really fun to watch. I mean, I know it's listed as could be a soap opera, too. And I'm not a soap opera person, but you're really just watching the lives of these fairy tales. It's not true. It's a story, so it can't be real. But you get to kind of see a different take on all the storybook characters that you learned about as kids, right? Because now you get to see them growing up. You get to see them as real life people, right? Um, it's kind of interesting um, to see Snow White. She's all grown up and... The Prince Charming has come and rescued her, and the evil prince still wants to, the evil queen still wants to get a hold of her. And then there's a, a town in Maine called Storybrook that's been made up, um, and it's a magical town, and that's where all the story, story uh, characters are at now. And so they're learning to live in a different realm instead of the enchanted forest. Um, so it can it gets very entailed i mean and i've been watching it for six oh i'm on season six okay there's only seven seasons which is where i'm at right now going okay i'm on season six but i'm only season six episode four so i figure it's going to take me another couple weeks to get through it maybe so we'll see how that goes but if you're looking for something to watch and you have Disney Plus and you're looking for something that you can really get into, if you like Disney, I think you would get a kick out of Once Upon a Time. And everybody that I know that is a Disney fan loves this show. So, if you want to get a different take on those old fairy tales that we learned about. Snow White, Cinderella, Tinkerbell, Captain Hook, Peter Pan, you know, Rumpelstiltskin, uh, and the list goes on, right? Belle is in here. Gaston is in here. So, the Seven Dwarves are on here. So, there's a whole lot of characters that you get to see in a different light, right? And you get to see them trying to save each other or trying to get rid of the evil queen and 
They're trying to get rid of evil, but they can't get rid of evil because there's always going to be some sort of evil in the world, right? So they fight evil and, you know, they try to get things done and in a timely manner. And they want to finish what they think hasn't been finished, right? Um, they have to fight different battles. Uh, each day, each time there's new characters that come on that you have, that are being saved, you know. So, if they were un in the underworld for a couple weeks, a couple, a couple, couple episodes, two or three episodes, they were in the underworld, um, helping people pass on and getting rid of the evil devil that was down there, not letting people pass on. Um, yeah, so it is very intriguing. I really, really, really enjoy the show. So, like I said, if you're a Disney fan of any kind and you want to see different views of the characters that you've watched all your life, take a gander at Once Upon a Time if you have Disney+. Plus. Um, I'm When this is over, I will watch Once Upon a Time in Wonderland, which is also on Disney+. Plus. Um, and I have some other movies that I want to watch, like Cruella and um, Maleficent. And so I have things to watch when these these two movies are over, but I still I still want to, I still want to do it, right? So um I think maybe we should get into our article now. We're in about 21 minutes. So let's get our article started. So what are some hobbies to do at home? Diamond art and for others, okay? So and that's from March 6, 2021. So it's from earlier this year, about five months ago. So we're getting closer and closer to having read all of the Diamond Art Club logs. There were 13 pages, and I think we're down to page three now. So let's see what we can find. I'm going to grab a drink before we get started. And... So, <clears throat> I felt, I, I'm, I'm wheezing, so sorry about that. In the early days of the COVID-19 pandemic, being stuck at home seemed pretty great to most people. After more than a year of working from home, bringing, binging, or binging on Netflix, having food delivered, though the novelty is worn off, Life is gradually resuming some semblance of normalcy. But with the virus still present, a lot of folks are choosing to continue playing it safe and staying home as much as possible. If you fall in this category and are starting to feel like you're going more than a little bit stir-crazy, there you are. There are, fortunately, plenty of ways to keep busy. So what are some hobbies to do at home? Keep reading to find out. So, before we go on to this, I want to, I, I meant to talk about this before we started reading um, this, because it kind of goes with hobbies, right? So, I've been watching Halloween Wars, right? I love Halloween Wars. I like to see, for one thing, I'm a Halloween fan, um, fanatic, really, um, and for another thing, Halloween is just Halloween, right? And the artistry is amazing. So each team has a cake artist, a sugar artist, and a pumpkin carver, right? Oh, pumpkin carving is so cool. Um, and that's why I brought it up. Because what I was talking to my husband last night. And I'm going to go over to the Family Dollar. And I think I'm going to take a trip over to Harbor Freight and see what I can find for things that would work for good carving tools. Um, and I'm gonna start carving potatoes. And with me starting to carve potatoes, to be able to start, 
Because I miss my carving. I miss clay work. I miss all of that, right? But here's the thing. I can start practicing on potatoes and get good at the potatoes so that by next year on Halloween, I can um, do pumpkins, right? We can do pumpkins on the channel next year. Um, next year, I want to make a big deal about Halloween, kind of like we're going to do with Christmas this year. We'll have a special Halloween edition next year. I'm going to start doing a special holiday edition each month that we have a big major holiday like Christmas, New Year's, uh, Easter, um, what other major holidays? Fourth of July and um, like maybe Mother's Day and Father's Day. I don't know. I have to think about those, okay? Um, but holidays like that where we can create things um, around those holidays, whether it be cookies or because Christmas, you make a lot of Christmas cookies. You know, I like to make cookies. I'm going to make some sugar cookies at Christmas time. Um, I make my sugar cookies sugar-free. Um, I use Splenda white sugar and I use Splenda brown sugar when I'm making cookies. So like with my peanut butter cookies, they're mainly brown sugar and less, they don't have any white sugar in them at all, okay? So when I'm doing my cookies, I like to do them and have them sugar-free so I can eat them, right? But I'm going to make a, a sugar batch as well because I'm going to take that sugar batch and I'm going to give them away to the neighbors around um, and just say Merry Christmas to everybody because I think this year it's important. We have new uh, neighbors in the neighborhood um, and I haven't met them all. And I probably won't meet them all to be best friends with them. Uh, I know the neighbors that have moved in right next door um, because I see Chris all the time because he's in and out while we're sitting out back, out front. So I'm used to seeing him, right? But so my point was is that I want to start making um, special holiday events. Um and it's just like, we're not going to have it as an event like you would a um, month-long event for that. We're going to do, um, I don't know how to put this. I really just want to find oh, something that we can do each month that we can kind of put around and make things from it, you know, or for it. So like Halloween. For October right so September is Labor Day right it's the only holiday that I know of that's um, in the month of September right is Labor Day so September is Labor Day month right but the, we won't do it this year I'm just using it as an example next year is when we'll be pulling those things in but the main thing I wanted to talk about was um, as I'm starting to learn to carve again, I want to start bringing it on the channel. So once I get back in the swing of things, because what I want to do is I want to work on skeletons this year. Um, I really want to make a nice um, skeleton bone structure. And that's kind of what I'm looking at. So I kind of want to learn all the bones and so that I can make a full skeleton by next year. So we'll be working on those. Um, some of the bones are going to be easy. Some won't be as easy, okay? Um, your skull is going to be harder because the skull has so many different things that it takes care of. You know, you've got the eyes, you have the nose hole. You have the place where your mouth is. So you have all these different places and you have teeth and how many teeth do you have and making it atomically correct. So the whole thing is 
being able to make something atomically correct. Not just making a skull, but I want to make it so it's atomically correct, right? So those are the kind of things that I'm going to be working on. I was trying to find something else that we could do that I found interesting. So, um, and the 15 hobbies that we looked at yesterday, um, we'll be looking at a couple more hobbies today or even the same ones, maybe a little bit more in depth, maybe. Um, and so we want to make sure that um, we have different things to kind of bring in and not, I because I don't want, um, I know we have three days right now that have things assigned. We have Tuesday that is come cross stitch with me. Wednesday is come silhouette with me. And Friday is come knit and crochet with me, right? And I will probably make um, our Thursdays our regular whip and chat days for doing diamond painting, okay? Um, and I'll probably keep two days for diamond painting. And so that'll leave us two more, two more kind of things to come up with to do, right? So the first one I'm going to do is do the potato um, carving and practice that and get into doing a little bit more of that. It's kind of bringing me back to my carving days when I was doing clay and different things. Um, but I never got to do the study of the human bone structure, which is what I wanted. I wanted to do a full skeleton. Um, I want to know how to do each of the bones in the fingers. I want to know each of the phalanges down on the toes, you know. So I want to know all those bones, and I want to make sure that I know how to do it atomically correct so that when I do one, I'm doing it atomically correct in the end. That's the goal. So that's what we're going to get on a journey and learn. Um, that's I'm going to start doing that, and I'm going to bring it in probably as a Monday kind of um, thing. That way we have five days. Um, we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then Saturday will be my Saturday and Sundays, or I can do whatever I want to do days, right? So that's probably what we'll do at this point. But let's, um, let's go ahead and um, kind of keep going on the schedule as we are working to build that. It is a work in progress. So um, I'm really excited about bringing on some, a couple new hobbies um, that we can learn from the beginning, okay? So let's start finishing our article. Okay, so some are choosing to continue playing it safe and staying home as much as possible, which is what my husband and I are choosing to do. If you fall into this category, you are starting to feel like you're going more than a little bit stir-crazy. There are, fortunately, plenty of ways to keep busy. So what are some hobbies to do at home? Keep reading to find out. So, our first one, as always, because this is Diamond Art Club, the first one they're going to tell us is Diamond Art, right? Diamond painting is a great hobby to do at home for several reasons. First off, it's easy. Even if you do not think of yourself as being particularly artistic or skilled at things like drawing or painting, you can create stunning works of diamond art. There are kits to suit any interest and design aesthetic too. Whether you're looking for cutesy kits for diamond painting for kids or you're looking for something more elegant to match your own style, there are plenty of options to choose from. Plus, diamond painting is relaxing. This is a great. This is great if the stress of being ho at home and spending very little time with friends and loved ones is getting you down. Once you get into the groove, painting with diamond allows you to clear your mind and unwind. And it does. I can sit here and do it. Turn on my TV, and pretty much block out the world. And I'm okay with that. Okay. Number two, meditation. Speaking of clearing your mind, meditation is another excellent hobby to try at home. 
It's a great way to mentally step away from the hustle and bustle of your daily life for a few moments, and it can improve your overall well-being. In addition to enhancing your emotional wellness, meditation with practice provides numerous health benefits too, including lowering blood pressure and improving sleep quality. If you would like to try meditation for yourself, you already have everything you need. You. You can do it anywhere you like, and there is no cost. While there are plenty of books you can buy, classes you can take, and services you can subscribe to, you don't need any any of these things, any of those things to learn to meditate. And then there's a a, a article that takes you to how to meditate. Okay, so let's go back. Cooking. So. Has the novelty of having food delivered from your favorite restaurants worn off? Or is your bank account and body suffering from the side effects of ordering takeout for months on end? If so, learning to cook might be a great hobby. There is something incredibly satisfying about enjoying a meal you prepared from scratch. If you're now cooking, if you're new to cooking, start with something simple. There are tons of recipes great for beginners and will help you learn basic kitchen skills. Once you've mastered the basics, feel free to move on to more challenging recipes. So yeah, there's a lot of things out there um, that you can do in cooking. I like, that's kind of why I'm thinking of the car, the carving part of it. Is a lot of, I like to watch a lot of cooking shows. And so... Halloween Wars is one of those, and that's really, really, really grabbed me and says, okay, this is what you need to do. I have a calling for it right now, so um, it's calling me to do it. So I'm going to start. It kind of takes me back to uh, where I was before in my life. So fiber art. Whether you choose to learn how to knit, cross-stitch, or do any type of fiber art, you'll be joining an ever-growing group of people who love expressing themselves through yarn, thread, and fabric. Fabric art has seen a huge resurgence in popularity in the last few years. Things like embroidery and sewing certainly are not just for old ladies anymore. More and more men are even becoming fiber artists, and there are, there's lots of them out there. So gardening. Um, whether your gardening is indoors or out, gardening is a fun hobby to enjoy at home. And with spring just around the corner, now is a great time to get started. If you have the space to do so, planting a vegetable, herb, or flower garden outside is an enjoyable and rewarding experience. For those who lack large, large yards, though, planting a container of uh, plant, planting a container garden on your balcony, or even having a window garden or some house plants indoor is just as enjoyable. Tending to plants is relaxing, and there is something magical about watching something grow from seed to fruit, vegetable, flower, or herb. And if you are growing something edible, nothing takes better than food you grew yourself. And that's true. My sister is really big on farm-to-table. I'm not a farm-to-table girl, so for me, that's not a big deal. Um, the bottom line... And I have a brown thumb. I don't like to. I don't like to grow things, right? I do. I can grow certain things, certain vegetables, but I'm not a flower girl. I don't like to go grow flowers and plant flowers. I do like my roses, though. I wish I had a nice, pretty rose bush in my yard. I might get a couple of those to put in. The bottom line: if you're trying to find some hobbies to do at home, diamond painting and the others listed above are just a few of the many, many options. When boredom starts creeping in, it's all about finding something you enjoy doing to pass the time. Feel free to experiment with different hobbies to find ones you love. And and so, like I said, there's so many hobbies out there beyond this. So, I mean, you can take cooking to another level, right? You don't have if you already cook, maybe start baking. Bake a cake. You know, I know a lot of people that have taken on baking as a, 
livelihood. And because they've taken it from just being a hobby, they enjoyed doing it. They started it making cakes for their kids, you know. And then they just started making more cakes and people saw their cakes and people kept wanting their cakes. cakes. And, and that's how they got into business, right? And you can do that too. And that's the nice part of being able to have a channel, right? Because you get to share what you do. You get to take charge, making sure that what you want to do is really what needs to happen, right? So take charge of yourself. Find something that you can do that's not going to cost you a lot of money. I mean, there's so many things out there. That's why I chose doing, like, instead of picking up and say, okay, I want clay to work with. What other medium can I use to practice my carving on? What? Perfect medium is vegetables, right? Why not? I mean, there's nothing wrong with vegetables. They're a great medium. There's, there's so many things out there. And I have a beautiful vegetable shop down the street, which allows me, and she's always got gourds and different things there which will allow me to be able to pick up some stuff to practice carving right and so that's where my goal is it, it, it it's it's really to see how I can best ensure um Something that's going to make me happy. Something that's going to turn into a positive, right? But I don't have to spend a lot of money doing it, right? You can get tools. Yes, you can spend money on tools. And, you know, eventually I will spend money on tools. But not when I'm getting started. I'm going to get started doing it and see if it's something that I want to continue doing before I throw a lot of money into it, right? So get a few carving tools and get some potatoes and do some carving and see how it turns out, right? There's potatoes, there's sweet potatoes are really good for it. Um, all of the different gourds. You know, a lot of people paint on pumpkins too. Um, but I want to be the carver. I want to be the one that carves the cool pumpkins, you know? I want to do the cool Frankensteins. I've always wanted to do the cool Frankensteins and, you know, the scariest pumpkins. And, you know, you don't always have to take everything out of the pumpkin to carve a pumpkin, right? Sometimes you leave a hole and you just pump, you just uh, carve the outside layer of the skin, right? You want to make sure you have a thick skin when you're choosing your pumpkin, um, depending on what you want to do. But if you want to build the face into it, you have to have enough depth in the pumpkin meat in order to be able to build the face out, which is a lot of fun. I mean, I'm watching them do it. And I am just intrigued. And I'm telling you, I watch all kinds of art. I don't want to learn to... Um, I don't want to do cake decorating, okay? I, I have no desire to... Well, maybe chocolate work, but um, cake decorating, no. Sugar work, yes. And chocolate work, yes, eventually. Um, it would be nice to be able to do, like, be a chocolatier or something, you know? Um, but those are just dreams, right? And right now, I don't have a lot of money to spend on those dreams and to go to, like, pastry school. Um, but there's plenty of ways I can learn, right? There's courses now that you can get online, you can go on YouTube. People are out there on YouTube. Um, that's how I figure out things, right? If I want to do carving, 
vegetable carving. I can look up vegetable carving and pumpkin carving on YouTube, and I bet I find plenty of people willing to show me how to do it, right? They're not going to tell me all their secrets, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to learn the basics from somebody. And then once I know those basics, it's on. Like Donkey Kong. Okay? So that's that's really, I want to, that's how I learn, you know? I learn by doing. I'm not one that reads books and learns. Well, I can. I used to be able to. Let me put it that way. There it is. Um, I used to be able to do that. Um, I don't do it well anymore. Um, my A needs to go there. And let's get one more. For some reason, my, my pen does not want to keep grip on my diamonds. And I gotta see what's going on with it because it's driving me crazy. Um, it only picks it up once in a while. And that's annoying. But, um, so that's, that's what we're doing. We're, we're gonna find a way and learn some new things so that I can bring some new things to the channel. And, and I really want to not only bring something that I know how to do to the channel, but I want to be able to bring something that when I learn something, I can bring it to the channel and spend time doing it and saying, oh, guess what I learned, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm not going to give away all my secrets, obviously. Once you learn secrets, you kind of keep them to yourself. But you know what? I don't care. If you want to know my secrets, have my secrets. Because... It's only going to make you better, right? Sometimes, though, I don't always like to be told the secrets. I like to find them out myself by doing, right? And sometimes just by doing, something happens magical, right? To me, it's magic if um, I can create something and make it beautiful right and I can I'm very good at creating stuff I'm very good at creating especially like carving and, and sculpting and those kind of things and that's what I want to do again um, so let's let's use that as our stepping stone and I'll start doing some research on potato carving on YouTube. And then we'll start learning how to do it, okay? So we'll start learning how to carve vegetables. Um, you can make beautiful roses. There's so many flowers. You can take a watermelon. Have you ever thought about this? Taking a watermelon skin... And you can make some of the most beautiful roses from watermelon skin, right? That stuff is beautiful. I want to learn how to do things like that. I want to take something ordinary and make it beautiful. And that's what I want to do with the rest of my life is take something ordinary in my life and make it beautiful. And that gives me purpose every day to get up, right? Because sometimes you need a purpose. I can go on for the rest of my life and not have a purpose. But what good is that, right? Then I've just given up, right? I need to have a purpose. I need to, I need to have goals, things to reach for. Everybody does. I'm not the only one. But if I perfect everything... And I become a master at everything, then there's no fun. As long as I continue to learn about various things, I will make myself a better person. And that's my goal in life, is to show the world that you can come from nothing and become a better person. And it doesn't matter 
what obstacles are in your way, they will become accomplished. Um, you don't think about how strong you are until something happens that causes you to use that strength. And for me, fibromyalgia is that. It is my evil stepchild that now lives within my body, right? That's kind of what I'm thinking. I want to kind of give it its own thing. It's an evil stepchild, and I'm going to make the best of my life. So I can either choose to be unhappy, or I can choose to find things I can do and keep myself motivated to get up every day. And so that's what I'm doing. Okay? And I'm going to take you guys along on my journey. We're going to learn all of this together. How about that? You know, I could sit here and learn how to do it and then come back and teach you how to do it. But, you know, I want to do something to where we can learn as we go. So as I learn... I'll come and bring it to you guys so that you guys can see what I'm learning. And I can also um, have a record of how my new um, hobby's going, as well as being able to share my new hobby with you, right? Because that's the fun of it, right? I don't want to do the same ordinary stuff that everybody else does. Everybody else not everybody, but a majority stick to one or two and I don't, I don't know. They do a lot of, you know, uh, what are, I, I can't think today. They, they do a lot of unboxings. Um, they do one live, they do one whip and chat, and then they unbox, right? I don't see a lot of creativity. I don't see, um, I don't want to see diamond paintings over and over again. I don't want to see that once again, you've got a diamond painting sending you free diamond paintings to do a video for them. You know, you're working for them now. And they're getting free airtime. It costs them a painting. And most of these, I mean, if it's Diamond Art Club, okay, they're spending $80 to send a painting out, right? Okay. And I, can, I guess I can kind of understand sending out the previews and letting people see and getting the excitement up and then people buy it, right? I understand that. But I don't want to be the type of channel that does that. I want my channel to be what I do. Right? Unique to me. We can do, eventually, when we start building the channel a little bit bigger, by the way, I want to thank our new subscriber. We're up to 13 now. Um, and I know to you probably 13 is not a big deal. But to me, 13 is a big number. I mean, we're, we're still growing. We're still gaining more and more um, subscribers, right? So we have new subscribers. And that's fantastic. I hope we get some more. Um, and I hope that I can help bring about... A different kind of channel that lets people learn and grow and not have redundancy, right? Um, I don't want to be redundant. I don't want to be somebody who just does a whip and chat and I do... Paint with me's, paint alongs, whatever you want to call them, chuck alongs, 
you know, all of those, they're great. I love that it gets a lot of people involved. And I don't mind those kind of things. But then again, it becomes very commercialized, right? Now we're promoting Chuck Long. We're promoting Chuck Pinson. Chuck Pinson is an amazing artist and deserves all the promotion that he can get. I truly believe that. And, um, but I don't want to do that. There's plenty of people out there willing to do it. Let them do it. Let's have a different kind of channel. So, with that said, let's get started on moving forward with a different kind of channel here on YouTube. Um, it's going to be learning, fun, and come join me for a lot of fun in the time, right? So, I'm going to try to come up with... Um, a few little taglines that we can use um, to use to kind of, uh, and I'll talk to my husband. He's really good with the words. Um, he can take any song and make a song out of it, right? He's good with words. He does that well. So I'll use him for that. I want to come up with a couple taglines that we can use on Instagram and Facebook to get our channel out there, right? I just want to make sure before we start doing all this growing the channel that I have a really good grip on what I want to do first, right? And how I want my channel to be. Because this is my channel. I can do it any way I want. And I hope everybody wants to join that channel. And that we can all grow as a family and grow our art and people can be introduced to new kinds of mediums new kinds of fun things to do so with that said i want to thank you all for coming we are at our one hour time so i want to thank you all for coming and it's been a great time with you today to read our article about more hobbies talk about some more hobbies coming to the channel some updates, some changes, things that we can look forward to. And with that said, I want to thank you all for coming. And I'm wishing you a great rest of your day. But before we say that, we forgot to ask you, if you like this video, let's give a thumbs up. If you don't, a thumb down is fine. But please, please let us know down in the comments below why you... Um, why you didn't like the video, okay? If it's something that people don't like, then we'll stop doing it, right? But I wanna see a, I, I wanna see a consensus at this point, okay? So with that said, if you wanna be part of the Sunset Girl Creates and help us continue to build this family, um, it would be great. All you have to do is hit that subscribe down button down below. And then if you want to know every time I upload a video, hit that bell icon next to it. And you will know every time I upload a video. And with that said, I want to thank you all for coming. Have a fantastic, wonderful day. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.